I don't think I like this. Ooh, I did now. Oh, hello. You need to get your butt trimmed. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me right now? Yeah. Okay, we got it moved. I mean, it's kind of a vibe. This actually doesn't even look bad. Good morning, friends. It is 11.30 on a, what's today? Wednesday, and I'm getting ready for the day. I went to the gym this morning, did legs, came back, showered, and now I'm doing my makeup. Today is really going to be just like a computer work day, but I wanted to go um, to like a coffee shop or some sort to work there because I'm just like sick of working in my apartment. So just like changing up the scene a little bit. I also need to go check my PO box. So I need to go downtown and get that. I might just like stay over there downtown for the day. Day in my life, I'm living alone at the age of 23. Short of shin, sort of shindig. <laughs> but yeah, no, I live in Dallas, Texas. If you guys are new, I moved here a little over a year ago after I graduated college. I do like social media full time. So I'm kind of just like able to do my own thing, create my own schedule. And I'm working on today specifically, I'm working on graphics and my graphics for my workout programs that I'm launching in two weeks. So I'm really excited, excited to put everything together. All I need to do is just like, like decorate the programs and like add graphics and whatnot. So that's the plan for today. And then later on tonight, um, it's actually my stepdad's birthday. So we are going to have a little birthday dinner and I made reservations at Harper's, which is the place I went to for my birthday. And I'm like, can you do something special for him? We got that plan and I'm really excited about that. But yeah, that's kind of my plan for today. I'm not really feeling this outfit right now or this top, like at all, actually. So I'm gonna change into something probably more like a sweatshirt or something of the sorts because I just feel restricted in this. Oh, I didn't put on primer. Also update, I did get my hair done yesterday again. So the whole process with this was I had to go twice or else I probably would have fried all of my hair off if I did it all in one session because bleach was involved. But I went lighter with my hair and added some dimension, some highlights in there, and I wanted it to be like more ashy than like a warm caramel color. When I tell you my hair girl is the queen, it has taken me so long to find someone that I actually, like that does a good job on my hair and actually someone that I like get along with. She does such a good job. Like I showed her a picture and video of the way I want my hair and like she killed it. Absolutely killed it. So I'm so glad I finally found her. Y'all, when I tell you, I've been to like four or five different people in the span of the past year. Maybe not four, maybe like three. Well, no, four. I think this is my fourth girl. So if that doesn't tell you anything, then, well. It's been a journey, but I think we have finally found our final destination. Thank God. I'm getting my extensions put back in, <laughs> lol. I know I got them taken out. I'm like, I just want to go to the all natural, like, give my hair a break. But honestly, y'all, I've given my hair like a month, month and a half. We can put them back in. So that's what we're doing. Uh, but I'm not doing tape in. I'm doing the wefts. So it's actually going to be better for my hair. I've also learned that tape ins aren't so great for your hair. And so this is why we're doing this too. And I'm able to do like oil treatments, hair mask with hand, or not hand tied, the wefts rather than tapins, because if I did oil treatment with my tapins, they would fall out. And I just, I love extensions, they're so fun. They're easier to manage, personally. Like, not having extensions takes more time to get ready than it does with them. And I know you're probably like, what, that doesn't even make sense, because you have to deal with more hair. Yes, but with the extensions, I don't have to style my hair every day. Like, literally, I style it once a week, and it's good to go, because it holds whatever I did to it so well. So... I'm excited. I get those um, next week. They're 20 inches. I didn't do a full 22. I, I went in thinking I was going to get 22, but they're actually sold out. And then the 24 inches were like double the price of the 20 inch extension. So I'm like, well, let's just do the 20. That's fine. 22 might be too long anyway for what I'm wanting. Um, so it'll probably be like to here. I don't know. I'm so excited. The best setting spray on this earth. All right, this is the workday fit. A little, what is going on here? Sweater action with my yoga pants and some shoes. Sneakers from Altered State, yoga pants are from Aerie, because it's free people. 
and the amount of Mari fur that is on these pants is absurd. I decided if I want to go to like the AT&T district and work there in the food court, I do have a meeting at 1 at 12. So by the time I go get my, check my PO box and then find a spot to go, it'll be around 1. So I think it'll be good. I don't know. I might take my meeting at the AT&T district outside and then move somewhere else. Who knows? Okay, so <laughs> left my freaking camera in the car. Didn't realize it wasn't in my backpack. I'm stupid. But my car battery is dead. <laughs> And I don't know how to start my car with, like, I can get, like, you know the little key, like, a, you know, a car fob, whatever, like a keyless entry, like, there's still a key in here. Um, however, like, I can't start my car. What do I do? <laughs> we got this done. Um, I need to change the battery in this, obviously, so we don't encounter this problem again oh my god i am so tired i like randomly just hit a wall it's about 2 30. this lighting i mean like hello i'm i'm going home i'm going home all right you guys i am back home now and i am about to move some furniture around because y'all i'm so excited i got an electric fireplace and when i tell you my apartment's about to become a home it is going where the dresser is Fireplace is going under here, so therefore I'm moving the dresser into my bedroom where it should be um, Here and then I'm moving this thing To here and then this mirror is gonna go uh, where the tree is I don't know where it's gonna go for the time being where the tree is up That is something that I will need to figure out I mean soon obviously because I'm moving it right now, so we're gonna get moving I guess I need to figure out where to put the mirror now because I need to move that first Honestly, I might put it right here. <laughs> oh, hello. Honestly, I don't think that could be a worse spot. <laughs> this is just stupid. Hold on. I'm just going to put this here for now in front of my window. And then we'll move this. Every day I think I'm Now I move the dresser. Wanting to add like a mirror here, just like a big mirror to go here. But now I finally have a dresser where it's supposed to be, and then this is where this is, which I think will look so cute in the back whenever this is on. You know, whenever I sit here. Oh, yes, yes, ma'am. Yep, please and thank you. Oh, hello. I really have no idea where to put this mirror. Part of me wants to put it outside, like on my balcony, and we'll just like cover it somehow. Some way, I don't know. Like, is that a bad idea to put it on my balcony? But I made this so then whenever it comes here, we can like build it and then just set it up there. But for real, should I put my mirror outside? I mean, just for the next two weeks, I can just put a blanket over top of it. The king size one that I have. I might just do it. I'm gonna do it. Because here's the thing, I have this covered. I mean, it's all covered, but here it's like a little corner where nothing can really get to it, like weather-wise. I mean, it's kind of a vibe. <laughs> I mean, I have nowhere else to put it, so I think this is just how we're gonna do this. Hi, Marvie. Yes, 
Okay, don't get me wrong. I love living on this side of the apartment now, like rather than facing out. But like, we were in like close quarters here, okay? So, like I can, I'm right next to my neighbor. And I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> like it's kind of uncomfortably close. It's okay. <laughs> Mom and Wendell are on their way here. Um, we have dinner reservations at Harper's tonight. I think I explained that earlier this morning. I don't know what to wear tonight because it's kind of chilly. I'm not gonna lie. Also, I think the smartest thing I've ever done was buy one of these little oil diffuser or what is this called? I don't know what it's called, but it like makes the room smell good because um, there's no air circulation in here in my closet and it just kind of smells stale without that. And now everything smells so good in here. So yeah, I don't I don't know what what the vibe is tonight. Ooh, a good nap. I have a black bodysuit, a long sleeve. It's turtleneck. I can always feel so eh about turtlenecks sometimes. I don't even know where the turtleneck is. <laughs> I'll be honest. Like I don't I haven't seen that thing in a while. Feel, oh wait, that's right here. Just kidding. Okay, so we can do this. Maybe we can try my red pants again. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, I was trying to find an outfit the other night or last weekend to go out in these red pants. <laughs> Kinda gave me like Santa vibes, but I think part of it had to do with the belt that I paired it with. So this time, just not gonna do the belt. Well, I don't know. I don't think I like this. I just don't think I like these pants. <laughs> okay, I made my decision. I'm wearing these red pants instead with the slit in the side with these shoes. Those other pants, I honestly should probably just return at this point. They're from Amazon, but this is cute. Rock and roll. <laughs> It is the next day. Um, Marley and I had a little bath time this morning. You have shit all over your ass. It's cold. Hey, hey, hey. She had diarrhea all over the back of her fur and she also got it on my bed, so that was lovely. So yeah, I washed her in the sink. She was very unhappy with me to say the least. <laughs> she looks so funny. Halfway, oh poor baby. But don't you feel so much better and clean? So yeah, that was my morning. We got my fireplace in. It's in two parts. So that's like the actual like heating part of it, I guess. And this is like the mantle that I have to put together. Honestly, I have full confidence in knowing that I'm going to be able to do this myself. It's just a matter of how long. That's my project right now. After I finish laundry, um, because I need to do that. But yeah, that is going to be the project for today. And I'm nervous, because this is like a 100 pound, this is 97 pounds and I think that I mean, it's not 100 pounds, it's lighter. It's fine, I'm strong, I'm strong. Okay, we have all the pieces, we have all the tools, we are ready to build. I really don't think this is gonna be as hard as I think it's going to be. It's big, yes, and it's heavy. However, there's not too many moving parts. It's 9.35, we're gonna see how long this takes me. And I figure to make this go by a little quicker, instead of using just a screwdriver, I'm bringing out a drill. Because every time I don't use a drill, I always regret not using it because it could be so much easier. So, no, is it dead? Good thing I've got two. I'm dancing around my living room. I get drunk on the thought of you and I. When you were mine, see your eyes in every stranger. I replay the way that we were till I'm high. No, it's not right.
Y'all, I'm obsessed. It's been so easy to put this together. I'm not, like, I have... You know what? I'm not going to finish that sentence because I don't want to jinx it. But it's been easy, simple, fast. It is now 10, 15. Um, and now I just need to put the firebox in. We got that done. And it looks so good. This looks so good. I can't even... Like, are you kidding me right now? You are joking. It looks so good. Now if I could just get the feet off the dang TV, it would look even better, but wow. If y'all are curious, I will leave the link to it down below. It was, it took me under an hour to build it. So easy, it comes with a remote control. I can like dim the color of the, so I can like turn off the flames if I want to or make them more intense, I guess. I can change the light of the logs. Maybe I want them off or brighter. And then I can turn on the heater. Wait, what is this? Oh, but I can have also have a timer for the fireplace as well. Um, I haven't tried the heat yet. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I don't know why. You know what, we'll just do it. It can go up to, I think like 84 degrees and it can like heat 400 square feet. So updates to come on the heating. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, wait, I think this is actually genius, like the heating thing, because it can only like heat up to 400 square feet. It's not ideal for like a huge living room. Like I think it's perfect for apartments. And this way I don't have to turn on the heater. Isn't it like turning on the heat? It's like more expensive than like the AC for your electric bill. I could have that so wrong. I don't know. This is probably the best thing I have gotten for my apartment and yeah. Anyway, that comes to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Marley says hi. Now that she has a clean, poop-free butt. Y'all, is so gross. But she's getting groomed next week, so she's gonna get shaved. Not completely shaved because it's still a little cold outside, but she's gonna get bathed. You're gonna get groomed. You can get your butt trimmed. Yeah. She's like, great. Can't wait. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video.